guys, Stephanie V here, aka Umi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. King is taking a nap and I'm having a few mindful mama moments of the day is what I like to call them or what I have been calling them. Mindful mama moments. There are some days where King doesn't want to nap and that's okay because our bodies our bodies are always resetting. Some days we have more energy than others, some days we don't. And I think it would be a little ridiculous for me to place that expectation onto him. Although I know that sometimes, you know, he can just because of consistency with like the scheduling or just his body is, is used to shutting down at a certain time. So we really just allow King to pave the way. And if he's showing that he's really tired and he's overstimulated or even try to catch him before he gets to that point of being overstimulated and tired and ease him into a nap and let him kind of reboot and reset so with that said there are some days where he may not take a nap and in those days of him not taking naps it is extra important for me to remember to have these mindful mama moments of just st either stepping away maybe giving him an activity to that i know that he would be able to indulge in on his own or allowing him to just find something to play with and I give myself some time away while he is awake. I think that society does an amazing job with scaring moms and making us feel like we need to keep our eyes on our little person 24 7 around the clock while they're awake and even when they're sleeping maybe we need to be watching them I don't know it's kind of ridiculous um, as long as they are in a safe environment as long as you know they're not hurting themselves they're not hungry all their needs are met and they're okay to just be by themselves for a few minutes like that is absolutely okay I make sure that I take moments throughout the day to be able to whether King takes a nap or whether he does not take a nap to be able to check back in with myself and do things for myself during the day so that way when the day is coming to an end and I'm putting King to bed I'm not feeling like oh wow this whole day went by and I didn't take care of me I didn't have a moment to either think straight or I didn't even have a moment to breathe and not saying that I'm not thinking straight but I think we can get into mama mode and just be super focused and just loving up on our families living up on our children and in that focusness in that tunnel vision sometimes it slips our mind to remind ourselves that hey we should come back and just like have 10 minutes to ourselves whether that's 10 minutes of sitting in silence 10 minutes of recording a video 10 minutes of sitting near the water whatever it might be just making sure that you're checking in with yourself because a lot of the times too when we're in that full focus mode you know we can really be in autopilot mode and just kind of just be doing things with the notion of it and not really thinking about the things that we're doing granted our bodies have muscle memory and there are certain things we're kind of like we train ourselves to do but also for me personally i like to work on my mind knowing that i'm doing something and i'm doing it on purpose i'm doing it intentionally and i'm not just kind of going with the notion of things because then you know you start to kind of feel dead you feel numb you feel limp or you just kind of just you don't feel like you're all the way here so that's autopilot mode and in autopilot mode we can become very forgetful anxiety can peek through our root chakra can can or is out of balance when we are in autopilot mode which are all things that I'm always talking about if you follow me on other platforms. You're not just coasting through the day and you're actually enjoying the day. And you're not looking at the time, wanting the time to be over and the day to be over because then you're off the clock. But I like to be mindful about what it is that I'm doing. I like to be intentional about what it is that I'm doing. I also, I want to be all the way here. I don't want to just kind of coast through life. I don't want to just coast through being a homemaker and being a mom because when we're coasting then we're not really taking care of ourselves we're not really all the way here we're just kind of like you know our feet are off the ground and we're just levitating through so for me it's super super important to be aware and to know to to be in alignment with my breath and to know why it is that i'm doing what i'm doing constantly reminding myself because caring for other humans can take uh take away from you you know it can take out of you it can take it's constantly giving outside of ourselves so finding little mindful moments during the day to put it back into myself is extremely vital and super super helpful for me and i always notice a difference when i'm not being mindful when i'm not having those moments of coming back to to me and centering myself and making sure that my brain is all the way here and that i'm actually awake 
when you're in that kind of state of autopilot and you're not having those mindful moments of checking in with yourself, then we're not giving, the, we're not showing up as the best versions of ourselves. We're really showing up as this exhausted, unintentional version of ourselves who's not able to give everything that we are wanting to give. Not necessarily saying that we need to give more than what we're able to give, but give what it is that we want to be able to give and that we are comfortable with giving and that we know so that we know that we're able to give. So that's my, my tiny rant on why I have Mindful Mama moments throughout the day and why I think they're extremely beneficial. I'll be talking much more about them and sharing them with you guys, but I just wanted to take a moment out of my day and during my Mindful Mama moment to share with you all. And I would love to hear in the comment section what, what your opinion is. Do you take some time out during the day and have some Mindful Mama moments? Are you showing up fully of how you want to show up or are you showing up as this exhausted version of yourself not being able to give what it is that you want to be able to give to yourself and to your family and just to the world? Drop it in the comment section. So until next time, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and keep up with your girl. Head over to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm all over the place. So show some love and share tag with somebody else who you think will be able to benefit from this video. And don't forget to have some mindful mama moments throughout the day. Peace.